Hi guys, it's Dante with another happiness video and today I want to talk to you about moolah, money. Um, whether you have it or not, should not be a factor in your happiness. Can money make you happier? Yes, absolutely. But I don't know if you know my background, but I am a manager in Los Angeles and I represent lots of celebrities and I know them very well and I know lots of very, very wealthy, wealthy people. Some who were not wealthy when I met them and now they're extremely wealthy and they don't change. If they were miserable before they got the money, they're miserable with it. If they were happy before the money, they're happy with it. People are people no matter what. So if you're a miserable person and you're just waiting around for money to change you, you're looking in the wrong direction, my friend, because money should bring you happiness. It should. Money should bring you and your family happiness and nothing else. I don't get these people like, you know, the 1% that they talk about on the news that are, you know, hoarding up all this money. Who is it for? You know, I love how Bill Gates is, is known for giving away so much of his wealth. Because seriously, there's homeless people on the streets in America and you're hoarding money. You know, there's... There's all sorts of uh, starving human beings all over the world due to... It doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. Think of it this way. Think of the person you love the most in this world. Is there any amount of money that would let someone take them from you or kill them or hurt them? Because there's not a price for me. If you said you would pay blah, blah, blah for a human that I knew, you know, I wouldn't, there's, I just couldn't, there's, there's no price on my wife. How's that? You couldn't pay me to stop seeing my wife, even if you gave me billions of dollars and a harem of women, because I promise you, there's no amount of money or women or anything that could make me happier than my wife because she is my happiness. My daughter is my happiness. My life and my house, my just everything. That's she and my daughter are my life. They're my everything and money can't buy that. And you have to stop waiting for this money to come. All these people are always assuming that they're going to get rich. But what you have to remember is we're all worker ants. Sometimes a worker ant stumbles across a lot of little crumbles and now they're rich. But most people never stumble across the, the giant piece of bread or whatever. We stumble across a little tiny peanut. And that's our, our, our lot in life. But if you're happy, what does it matter? What does it matter if you have money? Because if you don't have love, health, happiness, safety, and freedom, money means nothing. You know, when someone dies, that's it. That's it. When my parents died, all their money worries were... It all went away. I mean, even the credit card debt that they had, you know that that's erased. It doesn't come to me. It just went away. I just see money drive people in the wrong directions so many times. They make the wrong decisions for their families in, in, in pursuit of money or they, they do things that they're gonna regret for the, the rest of their lives in pursuit of money. I guess we all do. I guess we all have our demons with money, but we don't need to. I'll tell you why. Because if you have a good balance in your life of love, health, happiness, safety, freedom, and you have enough money to get by, you will be one of the richest people on the earth because there's people out there who don't have their health that would give anything, any amount of money to have what you have. Be grateful. Be grateful. I live in the heart of Hollywood. I'm sure you keep hearing all these trucks and cars going by. I don't even notice them. I've built myself a paradise here and I notice that because it makes me happy. But I do love living in the heart of Hollywood. Don't get me wrong. I love that I can just walk up here and walk there and go eat there and go have this and that. That's why I live here. I love that I can grow 
marijuana in the state of California. Look at this beautiful guy growing. That's happiness. I love that I can grow these babies. Look at this. It's just lemons growing behind me. All of this makes me happy and it cost very little money. It did. If, if gardening makes you happy, go garden. And if you can't afford to garden, remember there's succulents. Ask people if you can borrow some of theirs. If anyone ever asked me, I have so many succulents in my yard, I would gladly snip them off a bunch of pieces and hand them to them. Really, that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how we keep the earth going. You know, if you want some pot seeds from me, just ask me, I'll give you some. Everybody should be giving each other whatever we need to make each other happy. And if, and if you're miserable, ask yourself why. And don't blame others, please. Please, you, especially if you're a grown-up. If you're a child and you're blaming someone else, you're probably right. You're probably 100% right, and I'm sorry. I hope there's no child watching this that's hurt or worried or abused or anything like that. But if you are a grown-up, come on, it's you're, you're a grown-up. You're in charge of your own life, your own happiness. You guys, I, I wish you the best lives and I wish you money. I hope that if you're a nice person and you're gonna be good with that money and treat yourself and your family and not just hoard it like some people like to do, which is so gross. I, I hope you reward yourself. And if you have no family, donate it somewhere. Give it to a family. Gosh, instead of a charity, my God, find out the name of your neighbors and put it in the will that they get it. Those nice people that always came over and brought you stuff and, and did this and did that. Or, or maybe they've never even spoken to you. Maybe you just watched their kids grow up. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. Can you imagine if someone did that for somebody? Whew. You know, there's a lot of people who die every day and who knows where that money goes. You know, a lot of people don't have family or friends, do something good for someone with it. Really. Even if you think they might be embarrassed to receive this money from you, I don't think there's a human being on earth that's embarrassed to receive money from someone unless you're humiliating them, which giving them your house or your wealth or your whatever is not humiliating to anybody. It's a uh, amazing thing to do because a lot of times people leave it and it goes to the government or goes to the bank or they give it to a charity and we all know that you know half of these charities have guys that they're paying or women that they're paying way too much money to run the charity and, and X amount goes to the actual oh so think about that sometime give it to people who need it don't be gross about it I mean, I, I understand what they were doing, but there were some guys in Los Angeles, I guess he was famous, went to Skid Row and was standing on a car throwing hundreds at everybody, and I just thought it was humiliating. Uh, go down and just hand them out, you know? Go down and leave a, a, someone a note with money in it and make their day, or take someone to lunch, or I don't know. Just be kind to each other. And if you have money, go share it with people. And if you don't have money, so what? Remember the things that matter. And those are people. Those are experiences. Those are the things that matter. Go find your happiness. It's not in, you know, a piece of green paper. It doesn't exist. That's not where you're going to find it. Your dead relative doesn't live there, you know, or whatever you're seeking out, or your missing dad, or whatever. Money can't buy you happiness. It can buy you fun times, and that leads to happiness, and that's what people should be doing with their money. If you have real money, go spend it on your family. Why are you hiding it from people and making them wait for it? If, if I were a very wealthy man, I would give my whole family millions. I'd give friends millions. I'd pay for people I didn't even know to buy homes. My poor mother, who passed away a few years ago, always knew she was gonna win the lottery. She chased it from the moment it started. 
and she never won it and she passed away and that's always made me very sad that instead of thinking that she could be happy which she was with all of us she thought we would all be so much happier if we had that money if she had a better car or if she had this or she had that and then when my parents passed away and I've talked about this on other videos but once they passed away my sister came to town and took what she wanted out of their house and then I went to town and took what I wanted and then I took what I didn't want because they were nice pieces that my mother would die if anyone besides me or my sister had or whatever. So now I have a big garage here in Hollywood, California that is filled with my parents' stuff. But their house was much bigger than my garage or my sister's garage or wherever she put what she took. So half of their house was left and there was an auction. And then after the auction, everything else went to trash. So all of these things that meant so much to my mother and my father that she would have died if any of it got broken, ended up in a dump somewhere. I'm happy with or without money, but I'm a happy person. And when I have lots of money, I spend it on the happiness of myself and my family and friends. And I hope that you do too. Be happy.